Hi everybody, this is Edgar. Welcome to VLF at the park. I don't know if this part will work or not. Uh, I'm right by the pool over here at Cedars of Lebanon State Park in Tennessee, Lebanon, Tennessee. They're uh, cleaning the swimming pool with a gasoline engine powered pool skimmer, so hopefully you can hear me. I know when I sit down and start doing the VLF work, you will be able to hear me. Uh, yeah, it's the microphone over here on the right. It's my favorite microphone, the Electro Voice PL11. It's cardioid. So y'all might be able to hear okay. I don't know. We'll find out when we play it back at home. Uh, we don't have the video rig, obviously. So what I'm going to do is uh, record on the little... I'm going to record our VLF signals on the little uh, Olympus at WS500M digital voice recorder. As we heard on the demo, it does a great job, so we shouldn't have any problems. We'll go ahead and dub the audio from that onto the onto the DVD recorder while we're dubbing the camera footage into it. Should work out pretty well. So, fasten your seat belts. Hold on, we're going to have some fun. First segment will be of the uh, loop stick here. It's a Amadon loop. I think it's the R33 material, half inch diameter, four inch long, four thousand turns. So uh, when I sit down, we'll go ahead and put it in record and, and listen to that one. Okay, we'll do about five minutes off of this one, then ten minutes off of the the big square 15 inch by 15 inch air core loop. Now I have a compass sitting right here, and north is right, uh, let's see, is at, is at right angle to the loop's aperture, so if any whistlers did happen to occur and they're strong enough to receive here, I'd be receiving them, because the loop is actually receiving north-south. So we have the portable handheld receiver, what uh, started out as the Pico magnetic receiver. I've now got the the uh, loop stick. It's mounted inside of a five inch long piece of three quarter inch diameter pipe repair coupling. We uh, saw a slit down it so that it won't form a shorter turn. Drilled a hole here for a piece of quarter quarter inch diameter ice maker tubing about 10 inches long because it's sensitive enough to pick up magnetic fields from the output wiring of the portable and it'll oscillate. So we got it way up high here so that it's far enough away to where the magnetic signals can't reach it. And uh, I think it's almost as sensitive as the air core loop. We'll, we'll go ahead and try the other loop in about three minutes. Okay, I'm monitoring the recorder through headphones and right now I hear maybe a very slight trace of hum and mostly spherics. In fact the spherics sound weak enough to where they might be pretty far away. We'll go ahead and look at the lightning data when we get home. We'll see how far away the, the strikes were. It won't change that much in the couple hours it'll take us to have breakfast and go on home. Now the loop, I have it tapped at 20 turns and 80 turns. It's wound from telephone station wire, uh, I think 24 gauge 4 conductor. So when you use one conductor,